Hey guys, Chris and Gina here. We are starting to carve our big foam pumpkins today. And we kind of got the inspiration from a regular pumpkin, like the fair pumpkins. We thought, we've got all this foam. Wouldn't it be super awesome if we just carved some giant pumpkins? And then we were shopping at the grocery store and we saw these little guys out in the produce department. So we picked them up so we could get a visualization and this is kind of the look we're going for. And then we grabbed this one to kind of give us a little bit other detail. We really like the heirloom-y We type love looking. the heirloom type pumpkins, the ones that are a little bit misshapen, not perfect in any way. If you have a real pumpkin, um, sometimes they have like about 10 things. We did about nine, it just works for the math and the pumpkin size that we have a little bit better. Although it still looks pretty realistic, I think it sells it better if it just has a tinge of cartoon to it. Yeah. So that's what we're doing, you guys. So let's carve these pumpkins. It's going to be awesome. Woohoo! So, so far we've glued one there. And we got those four out there. Those guys are about three by threes. That's a four by four. And this one's like a three and a half by three and a half. So I think what we're going to do is we also were going to get some little guys going and then uh, as you can see we got plenty more foam here um we may save it for something else maybe on the shack that we're making or we can carve some more pumpkins but i mean ideally we'd like to carve more but we will see i say we get these done first or at least farther along and see where we're at I don't want to get too ahead of myself, even though Gina would like me to. She's like, let's go! I'm like, whoa, whoa, maybe just one pumpkin this year. Maybe just one pumpkin. I don't think so. Chris is like, let's do all the foam. No, yeah, <laughs> that is so not true. That is so not true. true. Gina's drinking the Kool-Aid. <laughs> She's crazy. I say we wait. After I get those marks on here, now I can have a guide to kind of start cutting off all the corners. Start making a round shape. Sounds like the neighbors are having a barbecue. Are we wish, invited? Wish we were having a barbecue. <laughs> the idea is to kind of get the worst of this. Get as much as you can because then it's less uh, sanding and grinding. Stand here where the foam is all melting your way. That's not fog. No. <laughs> it's not fog. So Gina was thinking about getting a fog scent. Yeah. For this year. We were trying to figure out which scent would be really good. I don't want pumpkin spice. If it was more like a um, pumpkin, that would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. But, I don't know, maybe something that just smells like... Any suggestions? Yeah, like what would be a good pumpkin patch smell? Yeah. Like corpse. <laughs> like burnt flesh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> like burnt pumpkin seeds. <laughs> burnt pumpkin seeds. I was thinking, but I don't want like hay either, you know. We were thinking it'd be kind of fun. Well, we weren't. I was thinking it'd be kind of fun to have like Michael Myers and Freddy and Jason all like in the yard carving a pumpkin. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. And you could have like pumpkin seeds and innards all out. But it'd be like a pumpkin carving contest <laughs> for all the killers <laughs> of movies. Hey, comment below which <laughs> movie killer do you think would carve the best pumpkin and tell us why that would be fun i'd like to hear your responses what would be the best pumpkin carving tool an axe <laughs> a chainsaw <laughs> That's a nice boulder. I got a nice boulder here. All right, you guys, what I'm gonna do is I got two long nails right here. 
I'm going to stick it in the middle on the top, and then I'm going to stick this one on the bottom in the middle. I'm going to take this twine, I've got a bunch of different strands right here. I'm going to tie a good old knot, push that down for now. Then I'm going to take this bad boy and I'm going to roll him over and try to stay in the middle right here. Try to eyeball the middle again. I think that looks pretty good right there. Stick that in there. Then I go lifty loo like that, push that bad boy down, and we'll roll him back around. Woo! Having fun! Pop it back up. Go around like so. Push it down. Give me some string. I don't know. Let's see. Will this go all the way down? I don't know if it's gonna. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Look at that. Go around like that. Make yourself another knot. Push it down a little bit. Now we're getting another string. <laughs> right, like so. <laughs> and we're gonna do this all the way around. And we're just gonna keep cutting slices. And what you'll get is you'll get eight slices. And then you go, hmm, let's do one more crazy slice. And you'll slide them over a little bit, but we'll show you that. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me uh, figure a string out first, and then we'll go from there. Gina's still rolling this thing around. Yeah, make sure you have room. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of get stuck sometimes. I'm like, well, shoot. What do she's I do like, now? She's like the old Egyptians, just rolling boulders around. So see that, that is too perfect looking. Yeah, see because it's it's perfectly sliced. Yeah, so we kind of mess that, it up a little bit. Gonna, that's not how real pumpkins are made. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide some of these over a little bit and off center them. Now I've got this wide space right here. Now I'm just gonna put an extra string right there and then we'll just offset it so it's not such a perfectly round sliced pumpkin. Gina's trying to get that knot out. I told her she can use a knife. You know, it's funny because I did the other ones and this is the one Chris did. <laughs> <laughs> I well, I tied like 15 knots so I probably oh, shouldn't have done that. You did. did you tie them all together? She was doing a good job, like, doing it to where we could reuse the string, but, uh, I yeah, guess I, I, don't wanna, I, don't I tied fisherman it. knots I and all kinds of, like, rigging knots and whatnot. I wanted to try, <laughs> try to be able to reuse the string, but, oh god, let's try to do this one instead. So what we did, you guys, is on this part, we tied string down a l really well. <laughs> and then we traced a um, sharpie uh, along it, and it's funny because we ha Whose on line the is that? well, that's mine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know, it, it, it looks like an intoxicated <laughs> line, but <laughs> besides, by the time you put your little middle grooves in there, it looks right. Looks like she's got a giant Flintstone dice, hey. like bedrock, a bedrock crazy. dice. When they used to have a place called Skate Country in Tucson, I'm sure you guys all have like skating rinks and roller rinks and stuff like that, but they'd have big dice and then you'd play like a game and then they'd be like, go to corner this and the corner that and... <laughs> 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 Luck be a lady tonight. We have this Harbor Freight hot knife set at one inch depth. <laughs> and it is hot. Hey, if you guys end up using this, I have a word of caution for you. When you start using this in the foam, a little bit of residue of melted foam accumulates on the tip. And sometimes when you move it, it gets a drip, like you can see a drip right there. Keep this away from your body because that would really burn. Like, not even lying. Like, yeah. keep this away from your body. Yeah, Gina was wearing um, OSHA approved flip flops yesterday. <laughs> While while doing the, while doing the foam cutting, <laughs> I'm sure that uh, not wearing a mask too is probably not recommended. But hey, you know, 
They weren't flip flops, they were swimming shoes. We might as well get the baby used to have melted styrofoam already. <laughs> no, I've been very careful. Yes, yeah, she has. She has. And as you can see, it's pretty well ventilated. I mean, this is, the wind is blowing today. Is she's burning that one inch groove along all the sharpie lines that we made and then we'll go back through with the little brush and grind all that out at an angle it's just a little bit faster and it also uh helps us remember where our marks are burn baby burn just go and burn oh i know that one yeah to find out our spacing on each one of those little parts i just took this um yard marker and Ran it around, which surprisingly, this is 10 foot around in diameter. And then I just divided it up between nine because we thought that nine looked the best. We came up with like 13 and a quarter. Our math teachers would be so proud. Remember, they're like, ah, oh, you're never gonna use math when you graduate high school. Yeah. When you make big giant foam pumpkins, you do. <laughs> Math and Halloween. Who would have thought? I need the math though when I'm handing out trick or treat candy because I just always hand one for them, two for you. <laughs> no, it's more like a handful for them, and then we run out. Lies. You are Lies. good at it. I'm what was not the big good old at bag it. Bag stashed under our kitchen cabinet last year. I was like, hey, what's this? I don't know. It's a bag of my favorites. So I was like, hey, I gotta give them. Yeah, I know, but the only thing is we ended up throwing it out because when I went to go get a piece the other day, it was all one big piece. You stuck guys together. know we're lying to you, right? We didn't hand out candy last year. <laughs> <laughs> but we awesome. still have our Halloween candy from 2014. That is true. Gina's over there working. And I'm cooking. Because I think the little haunter wanted a hot dog. I think the big haunter wanted. Well, that might be true, too. <laughs> Gina got to this little great stuff patch that we made yesterday and found out that the hot iron did not cut through the great stuff. It just burned it. <laughs> it's not on anymore, but I went... And then I went... And then I tried to go through it this way, and it's like, nope. So what I would do in a time like this is um, just use like a disc sander or a grinder or something. Yeah, oh, power tools, man, yes. power tools. Come on. People don't always have power tools like you, Tim Allen. Arr, arr, arr. Okay, for those of you who do not have a disc sander and you do have a knife like this, then a drywall you know, saw. Well, whatever. A, a, a serrated knife. Okay. <laughs> I mean, dang. One of your steak knives. Sure. Okay. You know, I can't do this left-handed though, but you know, because I'm right-handed, but then you can just go through with it like that. I am not left-handed. That here. seems like a lot more work. It, well, yeah, if you have, okay, people, if you have a disc sander, go with it. Team Chris. If you don't, Team Gina, let's go with the knife, all right? Team and Gina. Man. <laughs> there you go. Do we make the pumpkin too big? No. I just need some leverage and then you put it in there. Done. So yeah, just stand there and go. Yeah, but I I have to dig no. that out anyway. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying, not everyone has a disc sander. Okay, well, if you have a disc sander, oh I think God. it's a lot easier. <laughs> yes, Chris, that's already established. Now, comment below how many of you own a disc sander and how many of you own a knife, Team Chris. Team Gina. All right. And you can't be enough, both. Fair enough. You have to choose a side. <laughs> choose a side. <laughs> All right, next step. Taking the knife. Oh, again, not a disc sander. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here and just kind of groove it this way on this side. You can take out as much as you need do a little bit more. Yeah, it just helps us get a little bit of an angle yeah. going. Beautiful. Take that out. Then we take one of these. You guys can get this at um, like a feed and tax store. This is a horse grooming brush. Yep. And what's nice is it's got all these little 
ridges and stuff like that. And what? You can remove some of them too if you want to. Like you just take out the little screw and you can yeah, take some. Yeah, we never have. We've got two of them. This one has a smaller and then longer teeth, teeth. on that one. Start shaving in there. Lots and lots of shaving. And I'll, uh, I'll come back here in like two hours. <laughs> Five beers later, one hour later. We'll see how Gina's doing. Sounds good. You guys are in what we call the foam pit. The foam pit. <gasps> Woo! Party time! Halloween party! Woo! Ready for me to get the chainsaw out yet? You and your little power tools, babe. Yeah, the chainsaw. Take a little bit off this corner, a little bit off this corner, we're done. Yeah, whoever uh, glued this foam together, they used like a latex silicone or something. So I've oh. just been taking some snips and cutting that away. I bet it was liquid nails. What do you Yeah, mean? it's stretchy. So I just, I use, I've been using scissors and cutting it out. It doesn't burn very good when our hot wire hits that. It's like... Don't like it. We're actually making a Cinderella pumpkin carriage. Cinderella. <laughs> Just kidding. No way, Cinderella no carriage. No Cinderella carriage. So this corner right here, we still need to shave down. But you can see this corner right here is getting pretty round. What we want to try to do is take that square block shape away and try to make it as round as we can. So that's what we're working on right now. Yeah, and we have to keep stopping and like standing back. Mm -hmm. You can kind of see that that top side up there kind of needs a little bit more taken off. It's kind of high. Of the far side over there. Okay. Nope, the other side. This one? Nope, next one. This one? Next, next, oh, this one? nope, this one. This one. Over there. This one? That one. This one? Yeah. No, no, this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one right here. So oh my see, God. It's still got the corner on it and everything. Yeah, so Gina's going to get to keep grinding away, and I'm going to watch her. Uh-huh, sure. <laughs> kind of looks like a tomato. <laughs> or a big navel. <laughs> <laughs> Even the top view, if you look, Gina thinks it looks kind of like a pin cushion, but it still has that square look to it, so again, you know, it, you just got to keep chipping away at it taking a little shave off it. here shave a little off there shave a little off there and I do like using power tools but the thing is is when you get down to this kind of thing it it's kind of a little safer to just do hand tools yeah cuz then you can add the details whereas you get too crazy with the power tools you can go too fast and shave something down and then you'll you have can't to go shave back. everything down again so it's better to go slow for the cracks like these, I'll just go back through and fill this with great stuff once we get a little bit farther. But there's no need to fill this until after we've carved as much as we can. Because a lot of this will take away and then you won't have to use as much great stuff in the cracks. So I always do that last. I'm just doing a couple last minute sanding on this pumpkin. Um, it's getting pretty smooth as you can see. And uh, right here is 80 grit, so it's really rough sandpaper. Just trying to make it super smooth. This one is almost done. Yeah, and then to do some of these grooves, what we did is I just took a Sharpie that we had, wrapped it or the sandpaper around the Sharpie, and then, and then went down in those grooves to kind of give that definition, make that crack kind of nice. Yeah. I think we're going to do, what, five pumpkins? Five big ones? Five. So and we then, got our H H H pumpkin, huge Hollywood haunter pumpkin. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. We're also gonna try to do some small ones if we have time too, yeah, right? Yeah, I'd like to do the like wide, squishy, flat ones. That would be fun. Although we're kind of right now, we're like, oh, do you want to sand another pumpkin? Not really. <laughs> I'm kind of getting burnt out on the pumpkins. I'm on the the, the, the pumpkins. Triple H pumpkins are already getting. But we got three down, 
and we got one almost ready for the final sanding and then one we still gotta go on so <laughs> but we're getting close we're getting close so here are our pumpkins all sanded we just have a couple little cracks to fill and what we'll do is we'll just fill that with great stuff and sand it. And I grabbed one of our Funkin' and Pumpkins so you guys can see the difference in size. <laughs> oh, Hercules! <laughs> so yeah, there's some of the pumpkins and we're working on a couple of the other ones. Now we got to make some stems for these bad boys. We got to hard coat them and then we got to paint them. All right, so we got two more and we're done.